Gemini. Hey, 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 Gemini. Welcome back to my channel. Yeah, this is the week ahead reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or wherever you have a heavy Gemini placement. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate for every single Gemini out there. Wow. The first message we have is, I never want to feel that again. You know what? I feel like this masculine is saying this to themselves here. It's almost like this was like a quiet internal whisper that they said to themselves. So I'm definitely picking up that there was some type of situation, some type of conversation that made your person feel emotionally exposed, okay? Something about them emotionally was revealed here. There was some type of revealing conversation that you had. Um, an isolated situation where your person really, really felt exposed emotionally, okay? I'm definitely getting that because I just got runner. So I'm definitely picking up that your person may very well have been a serial runner. And what I mean by that is they were the type of masculine who was so used to running from either situation to situation, person to person, really stopping just enough to get the experience and then running, not really ever allowing their heart space to open, never really allowing themselves to feel from a real, raw, authentic place. But what I'm getting the my feminine is that upon coming in contact with you or whatever this revealing situation was, actually stopped your person dead in their tracks, okay? And that this is like a look into their internal process. They said to themselves, I don't ever want to feel like this again. Your person felt exposed emotionally. So what I'm definitely getting is that your person may very well have tried to, you know, use these tactics on you. Your person may very well have tried to BS you in a way where they were not being emotionally open with you. And I'm getting that you have this natural ability to kind of um, unscramble what it is that your person is saying and repeat the truth back to them. And this stopped them dead in their tracks. For a lot of them, this really, really scared them, okay? And I'm getting that your person, upon, upon this happened, their initial reaction was to feel a little triggered, okay? A, to feel a little bit exposed. Because think about a person who's navigating life and being very, very intentional about not letting someone in. And then they come across the divine feminine who naturally is intuitive, who naturally is empathic, who can naturally walk into a room and read the room effortlessly, okay? That is your energy. So upon coming in contact with your energy, your person feels emotionally exposed in a way that have, they have never felt before, okay? This level of exposure is unfamiliar to them because if you're resonating with this message here, your masculine has been very, very intentional about being surface, okay? And this may very well have shown up in your connection as them ghosting, as them being in this runner phase here, but I'm getting that your person has been running for a while, and you were actually the first person to stop them dead in their tracks here. So, wow, this is this is very powerful energy, okay? So, this is your person's internal process right now. Um, I don't feel anything heavy with this. This is definitely still light energy. But this is them feeling like, wow, um, this Divine Feminine <laughs> really, really can see through me, okay? In a way that no one has ever been able to do before here. So I'm definitely getting that your person is is at this um, at this place emotionally, okay, and you know mentally, where they are consumed with thoughts of you. They may be actually confused, okay, about how you have this access to them that no one else has, okay. Let's get the next message here. Wow. The next message we have is, this has to mean something, right? Mm-hmm. Your person is definitely consumed with thoughts of you at this time, but I'm getting that your person is really, really trying to figure out who you are 
and why you specifically have this type of access to them. More importantly, they're trying to figure out what this means. Okay, I'm definitely getting that if, if this is resonating so far, this Divine Masculine, your Divine Masculine was very, very strategic about keeping people out of their heart space. And it's almost as if their heart space is moving and being pulled in your direction, okay? And they're at this mental process where they're saying, well, what does this mean? If I've been navigating my life like this the entire time, no one has ever been able to slow me down. I've been able to go from this situation to this situation, leaving completely unscathed, not being penetrated through my heart space. What does this mean if I come in contact with this feminine and they have the ability to go straight to crack right through my heart space? Who is this person, okay? And what does this mean? Wow, this is a very, very powerful realization, okay, that your person is coming to. And I'm definitely getting that their emotions may be very well all over the place. So if you are in separation from your person, if they have pulled back their energy a little bit, if this is showing up in your connection as them being hot and cold, you have moments where they're extremely expressive, and then you have moments where their actions are um, directly opposite of that. This is why. You are actually at the stage of your connection where your person may be running from you, but they've actually stopped and they're asking themselves why it is that they are running, okay? you are the first person who was able to really, really penetrate their heart space and to really get in, okay? There were other connections in their lives that were very, very surface, and your person was running just to be running, okay? Just because nobody ever really, you know, got to them in the way that the Divine Feminine got to them. This time right here, your person is running because it's because of the level of intensity, Okay, and it's almost it's almost riddled in a little bit of fear as well, because if you can see them and if, and if they cannot hide from you, then who are you to them? Wow. Very powerful energy. Very, very powerful energy. Okay, someone's divine masculine has literally just awakened to who their divine feminine is. And I'm getting that there was always something that either set you apart or there was always some type of internal knowing, um, some type of like inkling to let them know that you were different, that you were special. But I'm getting total confirmation, total internal confirmation from their heart space that's actually stopping them in their tracks and making them question everything, okay? Some of them may even be getting some type of spiritual guidance here. They may be opening this up to someone um, in confidence, someone who they feel um, that they can kind of put this on a little bit here. But yeah, your person is definitely trying to figure out who you are, more importantly, how you were able to crack through their heart space. Wow. Let's get the next message here. We have trying to find the right words. Yeah. So your person, I'm getting if, if you're at a distance from your person here, they don't know what to say, to be completely honest. They are completely at a loss for words. Imagine how you would feel coming in contact with a person who you cannot BS this person. Okay, this person can see right through you. This is how your divine masculine feels in your presence, divine feminine. Because their, their mental process is like, well, I know that I can't BS the divine feminine. I know that I can't just say anything. She has the ability to cut right to my heart space. She knows when I am lying, okay? So it's like... Your person cannot find the right words to say to you right now because they know that they have to approach you in a way that is conducive for the growth of your connection, okay? I'm also getting that um, if there was some type of 
blow up during the separation. There was some type of disagreement or something here. Divine Feminine, your emotional stance is when your person comes towards you to apologize, you know, it's not really about the words here. You're in this position where you feel as if the best apology is changed behavior, okay? So you're at this place where although it feels comforting for you to hear your person affirm you and for them to acknowledge what it was that, you know, happened or, you know, whatever initiated this, um, this break in the connection or this separation or this ghosting or whatever is happening with the miscommunication here, because I'm definitely feeling there's some type of miscommunication, um, definitely because of where your person is in their internal process. You're at this place where although the words may be affirming, you feel as if the best apology is changed behavior. And your person is at this place where they're trying to find the right words to communicate with you because you have exposed them emotionally, okay? And this is very unfamiliar territory to your person. So they have to figure out a way how to speak from their heart space, which is very unfamiliar to do. Very, very unfamiliar to them, maybe very, very challenging at this time, okay? So if you're trying to figure out what your person is going through behind the scenes, they're trying to figure out how to speak to you, how to communicate this with you, because they, they already are aware that you are extremely intuitive, okay? You have the uncanny ability to tap right into their heart space. They cannot BS you, okay? So imagine the amount of pressure that they feel. They're under an immense amount of pressure and divine feminine i don't think you understand how much power you have as it pertains to this emotional process you're able to pull on your person in a way that no one ever ever had the ability to okay ever and they're at this place where you know they're really really they could be either typing out messages deleting them because they're like, no, she's going to see right through that. No, that's not going to be good enough um, for the divine feminine. Um, you know, they're really, really trying to be intentional about how they approach you and how they communicate with you here. Okay? Since they've come into this awareness that, you know, you have the ability to tap right into their heart space. You have a deep, deep knowing of who they are. And that could be a little bit intimidating, but your person is definitely going through this process where it's almost mind-blowing to them. It's almost mind-blowing because their mental process and their emotional process right now is, okay, if I've been navigating my life this way, going from person to person, not really being penetrated emotionally here, and this divine feminine has the ability to not only penetrate me emotionally, but she already knows what I'm going to say before I'm going to say it. Okay, um, I can't really lie to her. And your person may definitely have this energy where they don't allow you to see them crack under pressure. Because I'm getting really, really dominant masculine energy. Someone who has the ability to be poised. Okay, um, someone who normally doesn't crack under pressure. But their internal process, if you could just have a look at them inside, wow. And they're asking themselves, who is this divine feminine? How does she know me on this level? How does she have access to the innermost parts of my heart space? Okay, and if she does have this access, she must be someone extremely important to me. It's all hitting your person at once, okay? So if you're trying to figure out what it is that their emotional process is, this is what they're thinking about at this time, okay? Let's get the next message here. Oh, wow. Aw. We have, are you afraid to? Oh. Okay, so yeah, your person is, you know, a little nervous in this energy. I'm also getting, your person is afraid of getting lost in you. Okay, Divine Feminine, you may be feeling this energy as well where this connection is very, very intense, okay? I definitely get this energy here is very reciprocal. You both are at this stage where you know that this connection sits high above any other connection in your lives here. 
and you both may have a little bit of fear around really, really opening yourself up and becoming extremely vulnerable with one another here. You both could have very well experienced relationships in the past that did not serve you, okay, that were not a safe space for you. And although you love one another deeply, although you feel the level of intensity within this connection here, you're at this internal process where, you know, you really, really want to be sure that you're stepping into safe territory. Your masculine is feeling this as well. They may have a different way of expressing this. They may not verbally express this, but pay attention to their actions. Pay attention to how they respond to you when things get intense, okay? When the connection gets to a place, a pivotal, pivotal place where things have to ascend. Pay attention to how they respond to you in those moments here. Your person is afraid and when you know, we as humans experience fear, we can really act out very different, you know, emotions and actions according to how we process fear. Some people run from, pe some people run from fear. Some people run towards fear here. Okay, so I'm definitely getting that you both are afraid, but the way you are processing this fear is very, very different. It can show up very different within your connection here. So yeah, your person wants to know, are you afraid to? Maybe because the way that they process um, being afraid is to run, is to ghost, is to, you know, not be as expressive, is to shut down emotionally. The way that you may process fear, Divine Feminine, is to run towards it and to face your fear because that fear is just an undertone of the love that you feel for your person, okay? It's not a fear from um, danger, you know, it's, it's an undertone of love, okay? So I'm getting that this is very reciprocal energy. You both may be afraid at this stage of your connection, but you could be processing this emotion very, very differently at this time, okay? But yeah, if you wanna know why your person is acting the way that they're acting, they're afraid. They're absolutely afraid of getting lost in you. They're absolutely afraid of being in a connection this intense, this raw, this real, this authentic, okay? They definitely feel exposed in a way that is extremely unfamiliar to them. You have tapped into their real, raw heart space, Divine Feminine. No one has ever been able to do that. And they're sitting here literally questioning if the Divine Feminine has access to me in this way, who is she? You know, who is this person? Who is this being that I have come in contact with? And what does this mean for my life? What does this mean for this current stage that I'm in my life here? They're going through a very, very deep um, mental and emotional process at this stage, okay? Let's get the next message here. We have protecting my heart. Yeah. So I'm getting that. I'm also getting that that this energy could be a little reciprocal here. But let me tap into the divine masculine's energy first. I'm definitely feeling that your person, as I was stating before, was has been very, very intentional about protecting their heart. But they're at this stage in their lives where they're realizing that creating a barrier around your heart you know, not only keeps people out, but it keeps you from being able to accept real genuine love. So they're really looking over the course of their lives here. They could definitely be looking at how they showed up in different situations and how this kind of cyclical theme could be replaying simply because they have intentionally decided to protect their hearts. But now they're looking at it from a place of, wow, I've been trying to keep people out, but I've also, you know, put up a barrier to real, true, authentic love. But I'm getting divine feminine. You broke through your person's heart space. Okay. So yeah, you both are at this place where you are very protective about who you give your heart to. Divine feminine, you're definitely at this place where although you love your masculine, although you want to, you know, have this beautiful, beautiful experience, this beautiful connection here, you are still protective of your heart space. 
because your heart has been broken. You have rebuilt yourself time and time again. And you're not at a stage in your life where you're willing, you know, to give your heart to a person who you feel is not deserving. Okay? So I'm definitely feeling that you both are at this place where you are a little bit protective only because there's fear there. But I definitely feel that there's going to be opportunity for you both to kind of unpack this together. Okay? Definitely. Because this is something that I feel like is being triggered within both of you in order for you to unpack it. In order for you to actually realize that you came in contact with your counterpart because they are the safe space. They are where you go to heal. The only reason that when it comes to twin flame love, you are able to see your person so clearly. Your person is able to see you so clearly and you're not able to BS one another because that is your safe space. It's not here to make you afraid. It's not here to trigger you in order for you to run. That's where you run towards because that's the one person on this planet who sees you, who sees your raw, real self, your lower self, your higher self, okay? And is able to reflect that back to you in order to help you heal. It's not to hurt you. It's not to, you know, invoke fear. It's to actually help you ascend and to become your greatest version, okay? So if you are feeling triggered, at this time, if your person is feeling triggered at this time, okay, that is only highlighting the parts of you that wants to be healed. And your person is realizing, you know, you have triggered them in a, in a way where they're realizing, wow, I've been protecting my heart, but in the act to protect my heart, which is actually serve your person well, you know, for maybe for a certain stage of their lives. It served them to be protective of their heart space. Divine Feminine, it served you because maybe you were in stages and places or you had people in your proximity where you had to kind of put a barrier around your heart here. You're masculine as well. Definitely getting marrying energy. You may have very, very similar situations within your life, okay? But you both were in this position where you had to protect your heart. Now you're realizing that in the act to protect yourself, You've actually been keeping out what it is that you want, okay? So this is major, major awakening happening with your divine masculine at this time. And divine feminine, you may very well be picking up on this energy. You may very well be feeling your heart space expanding. You may just be feeling very, very light energy. You may be feeling very calm about where you are in your connection right now because your person is at this place where their heart is opening and expanding and they're realizing that you are the safe space. So I'm definitely getting that your person was a serial runner. They were someone who intentionally would go get into a situation, experience it for a bit and run. And they tried this on you, Divine Feminine, not knowing who you were not knowing that you were actually their mirror, that you were their person, that they were not going to be able to pull what they pulled on other people on you. And this really, really stopped them in their tracks. And initially they felt like, wow, whatever that was, I don't want to ever feel that again. Okay. But then it made them question. And this is the power that this love has, okay? Because you cannot avoid it. You have to run into it. You cannot run from it. I definitely feel like if your person is running from you or if they're ghosting or if they're at this place where they're, they're feeling fear, your person is only running because of the level of intensity when your energy literally consumes them to the point where they cannot focus on anything else here, okay? I don't think your person is running out of them, you know, wanting to avoid um, how they're feeling about you, wanting to, um, you know, kind of make you feel some type of way or trigger you in a negative way. I definitely don't get that at all. 
I definitely get that your person is feeling exposed in a way that is extremely unfamiliar to them. And the fact that you are this person who was able to trigger them in this way is literally stopping them dead in their tracks and they're asking, who is this person? Okay, you know, why are they triggering me in this way? If they have this type of access to me, if I'm intentionally going out into the world not really wanting to go deep and they have the ability to penetrate my heart space in this way, who is this person? Reveal it to me, okay? They're literally asking for it to be revealed at this time. For some of them, they already know exactly who you are, but they're still working through this emotional process here, okay? Because this is unfamiliar territory to the masculine energy. So yes, this is absolutely beautiful. Your person is at the stage where, you know, they're really, really expanding their heart space and really navigating emotions that they probably have avoided for a very, very long time. So this may show up in them being a little all over the place, okay? Because it's such a range of emotions here that they may not know how to articulate what it is that they're feeling, okay? Let's get the last message here. Wow. We have, I'm ready to explore this. Yes, this is beautiful energy. So yeah, I'm definitely getting, especially with this bottom row here, I'm getting very reciprocal energy. So I feel like you both are on this page where you're marrying each other, okay? Your person is definitely opening up and expanding and wanting to explore this, wanting to explore this with you, considering how you feel at this stage here, okay? Really, really wanting to have raw, like really, really raw, real conversation where you both are not protecting your hearts, where you both kind of unlock your heart space and just allow the emotions to flow. That could be a little bit scary. Your person wants to know, are, are you afraid to go this deep as well? Or is it just me? You know? So this is really, really beautiful. I definitely feel like if you're resonating with this message, you have unlocked a, another level of vulnerability. And this can only heighten your connection. But there is, you know, the possibility that this may be riddled with a little bit of fear, which is natural. But I, I really think that you're being guided to ask yourself how you're going to address the fear. Are you going to run away from it or are you going to run towards it? And your person is showing up saying they're ready to run towards it here. And they want to experience this with you, Divine Feminine. This is absolutely beautiful, okay? So I feel like this is gonna be a very, very beautiful, lighthearted week here, okay? Um, these are the messages that I have for you all today. If you resonated with this, be sure to hit the like button on the way out, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.